So, hi, welcome to TIFF. I am Ukara Lagbarova, and this will be done for the moviemulchmi.com. Um, the film is an instant classic. I myself, even in my reviews, compared it to the It's a Wonderful Life. The music is another story. The mu music itself, along with the actors and everything, it transports you into the world that helps you to set the, a new standard for being a good person. Uh -huh. For you, when you were writing the song, because it's yeah. fitting into the storyline, how did you get yourself into this mood? Yeah, I mean, I have to say that I agree with you and that it was easy because the the story is so well told, the dialogue is excellent, the acting is excellent. It's a story I could relate to. It's shot in a part of the world that I lived in that I really love. And I grew up at a time when that, that era, I'm a little young for it because I was born in 68, but that era was like music that I grew up listening to, that I grew up playing in bands. So I was very kind of connected to the, the place and the story and the time period. And then I think it's just basically tapping in to the emotional side of it without ever kind of showing your hand. So never getting into um, kind of leading the audience with either emotion or with the comedy side of it. Or, you know, there is humor in the film too. Um, and, and kind of threading that needle. Um, so I think those are the things I think about doing it. But honestly, it's made easier by the fact that I love the film. It's a project I love watching again and again. Um, I feel like, you know, Paul Giamatti is so absolutely fantastic in it. Um, and it just, yeah, it resonated with me perfectly, and that makes it easier for me to find my own kind of muse, obviously, um, when that's the case. Yeah, I was just sharing the story, like, just briefly about myself. Like, I once mm. jumped into the fire to save the little girl that I have, I never knew about. But, oh. like, I, well, anybody who's done it is a good thing in their yeah, life so can funny. resonate yeah, with right. this story. Right. Because the story about the self-sacrifice, yeah. and this is what she's doing. It. Yeah. He just tries to, for you as a composer, and for you as the person who is getting into this kind of project, like... What is it that you are getting out of it? Like, uh, you're not just um, uh, contributing. You, that project and that story contributes something to you. What did it contribute to you? Yeah, that's an interesting. I think um, I think it's an interesting point, and I think this idea of self-sacrifice with no kind of um, no grandstanding, no no uh, cameras and lights on at the end, no one even knowing really that he'd done it outside of a small circle without giving too much away about the film. <laughs> um, I think that, yeah, it's the film itself brought a lot to me. And then being able to connect the emotions and the kind of feeling I have for the story, how it resonates with me, and create music based on that, that's the best thing about my job, honestly. Um, is, you know, it's a, it's a different thing as much as I love writing concert music and other, you know, music for music's sake. Um, this is a different thing. It is a give and take where I feel like I'm, I draw from his, his work, from Alexander's work, um, from the art, from all the actors, and, and then it feeds me as well. So I would describe it that way. So I think it's safe to say that you should be prepared for a lot of emotion that will come out of the audience. Yeah. Uh, for you, because it's not just a, some kind of random movie, I must say. Mm -hmm. it's, no movie is a random, no story is a random, but this is different. To me, this is something that's gonna blow the people's mind. Like it's gonna. What would be your reaction? Like imagine you watch it and you feel that kind of happiness in people. Yeah. What do you feel about it? How would you? Well, I love it? I love the idea of seeing it with an audience, which I've not done yet. I've not seen it outside of my recording studio in Portland, Oregon. So that I'm very excited to see it on the big screen and to see it, you know, with an audience and and feed from that. But but I've watched the film many, many times in scoring it, and so I can tell you that um, those emotional beats that are in there and the story, the writing, none of it gets old. It's just, it feels very timeless to me, and that's the thing I loved about working on it. So I, I, I think and hope the audience will also relate that, that way. I believe they will. So. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Yeah.